These crazy days that we live in just cost me aches and pains. Lately, my life is like a season of stranger things. This place is flooded with demons and they invade your brains. This is an artificial hell and they create the flames. Day to day, I just try to stay strong and make it through. Wake people up from their slumber, that's what I came to do. Please don't believe what you see on TV and think it's true. It's all just targeted programming and it's aimed at you. It's everywhere. You're getting lied to and yet you barely care. People with common sense are now very rare. But the way that they brainwash you isn't very fair. They can shove that life control programming up their cherry hair. I do not consent to the way they tailor society. Ain't no variety. Plus, I really hate what they like. I use music as a tool to release the anger inside of me. You don't know how fucking crazy it's driving me. That we're living in the hood. They claim you have freedom, but they don't honor it. The world is a prison, and you're the occupant. We're living in the hood. The government's useless, and they're incompetent. Files are prominent. We're living in the world. The things that you believe are the total opposite. And being called crazy is just a compliment. We're living in the world. It's ran by the New World Order conglomerate. But there's a storm coming and there's no stopping it. We're living in the I ask myself, why do I even bother? Cause people are just like sheep that are lining up for the slaughter. If they're killing rats with fluoride, then why is it in the water? They're using the news to fool us, divide us so they can conquer. The longer you stay asleep, then the longer I'm gonna scream at you. I can't believe you let them deceive you, it's inconceivable. I won't stop until you wake up and do what you need to do. This world is overran with an evil that is unspeakable. Most people don't know, so they just go and pay taxes. The devil's hiding in the shadows and controlling their actions. And they think that the earth is a spinning globe on its axis. But I don't have any time to devote to this madness. I have nobody to relate to, so I ride alone. Just me and all these wild thoughts that are inside my dome. I feel like I don't belong here and I can't find my home. I'm tripping and I'm wishing it was different, but we're living in the They claim you have freedom, but they don't honor it. The world is a prison and you're the occupant. We're living in the The government's useless and they're incompetent. And satanic pedophiles are prominent. We're living in the The things that you believe are the total opposite. And being called crazy is just a compliment. We're living in the It's ran by the New World Order conglomerate. But there's a storm coming and there's no stopping it. We're living in the We're living in the Reddit user Jaw1073 says, you won't want to go back to mediocre after this.
us the truth in the movies and lies throughout the news. They manufacture opinions and form all of your views. Everything we think we know is actually opposite of the truth. But what do you do when reality's fraudulent? The whole system is rigged. It's an illusion of choice. You can keep screaming and yelling, end up losing your voice. What's the point? What's the point? That's what I ask sometimes. Roll a joint, smoke that joint, and then I smash some rhymes. I'm still a slave, but that boy overdose is hard to control. How far will he go? Much further than you possibly know. ODD TV, I've been doing this. I have to get deep because half of you are asleep. The other half are just sheep. Wakey, wakey, wake the fuck up, man. I'm really sick of this. They rub the truth all up in our faces and it's ridiculous. They always keep the odds stacked against us and we can't seem to win. After seeing all the things I've seen, I'll never sleep again. about outer space and the earth is flat they're killing us with the food they sell us what's worse than that you may wake up but that doesn't mean the world's gonna change they can stress you out make you depressed or fill you up with rage we're in a cage the whole world is nothing but a stage and we're almost there so be prepared for the coming age everything is going to end when you stop complying. That was ODD TV. Make sure to subscribe. He should be at Blacktoberfest. If I'm not mistaken. But that could be. Make sure to check out Wits It Gets It. He's got a uh, very trending video right now, Mount Rushmore. Somebody could share his link in the description chat. 
That'd be cool. Uh, Um, so there's this passenger that was taped to the seat after attacking flight attendants on a flight to Miami, allegedly. And so, um, I guess this, uh, very, uh, Welcome to life out here. um, eccentric person was just so happened to be at the right place at the right time, which is basically why I don't want to go on to any of these flights, is because I don't want to be part of these PSYOPs. You think it was a PSYOP? Yeah, totally. Um, for, for the uh, social medias? Yeah. Here's this guy. Um, let me see if I can lighten it up for you a little bit. Turn up the volume. How you doing, pop up, sir? Hi. Pop up the volume. Press the flat. I've heard that. Yeah. Pump up the now understand something. I'm a flight attendant. That means I attend the flights. Sometimes our job has us attending to crazy people. If you push us too far, you're going to have to attend this ass whooping. You see, because on this particular flight, I'm sitting in the jump seat and I'm just looking at him like a damn fool. He's spitting and cussing and going crazy. I say, that's enough. I got up and I walked over there. And by the way, this man smelled like a pack of Marlboro cigarettes, uh, four shots of Everclear alcohol, and regret. So I know something's about to go down. At this point, he touching all over my co-worker's breast. And where he f***ed up at is when he touched my titties. Because I don't play that. So what I did is I took out the duct tape. I said, he got scared, start stuttering. Say, Took out oh, the duct tape. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Something ain't right. I said, yeah. We about That's to not real. Mummy fight your ass now, boy. So we wrapped him up. Better than any Christmas present you'll ever see. He won't be coming on no more Frontier flights at all. That's a fraud. That can't be real. That's totally propaganda. That's not real. That can't be real. Because like I've seen that narrator guy before. Oh, yeah? Maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a, uh, what do you call it? Crisis actor? It's a skit. Yeah, it's, it's a, a skit. skit. He does. Yeah, totally. I, yeah. Like that character that he's doing. He does a caricature of a certain type of black person. Yeah. And he does them on news of things that happen. He does mm. them on things that happen in social media. Oh, okay. So it could be a skit that he does for... But he was there, though, right? He said he was there. No. And there's a video of him being there. He wasn't... Oh. You, yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah, there's literally a video. Let me show you. That's why That's why I, I grabbed that video there. Um, but yeah, he he's in a video. Oh, I got so many videos to share. But um, it might be on Instagram that I saved the video under. Let me see. Now I gotta find it. Totally unprepared. I need a producer or something. I need a producer to produce things. Can't believe it. I mean, I don't believe it. Can't believe it. I don't believe it either. It's ridiculous. Uh, if you'd like to offer um, some offerings. How you doing? Hi there. Good. How's it going? Good. Oh, okay, you have. To the table? Okay, yeah, fair enough. What have you uh, come up with since you've last talked to me? What have we come up with? Anything you've concluded? I don't know what she's doing. You don't know? Well, that's a good start, right? Do you still think it's a sphere floating in outer space? You think it's a cube? Like Minecraft. Like Minecraft? Okay, yeah, fair enough. What if it goes on infinitely forever and ever and ever horizontally, like a table? Forever? Yeah, Earth. Yep, it just goes on forever and ever. Is that possible? Forever? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so like we're here on the table. Let's say like we're just, we're this guy, okay? We represent this place. And this is Earth. Let's even just make it a little bigger. And let's say this is Earth, okay? What if we could just go further out, 
past where they tell us we can't and there's just more land and resources and stuff available for us. Is that possible? If the earth was round, probably. Okay. Like round like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. But isn't there so much surface area on a ball? Like your soccer ball, there's only so much surface area on that, right? Is your ball infinite? No. It's finite, right? So in my opinion, just, you know, for me, I'm taking what they taught me when I was in school at your age. They told me outer space continues to expand. And that was 30 years ago when I learned about this. I was probably your age. So 30 years has gone by and allegedly outer space continues to expand as if to go on forever and ever. So what I did is I just, you know, learned about flat earth and then, you know, when I learned about this, I started to think, huh, what if the earth and land and water goes on infinitely forever and outer space isn't real, but we can what we can only travel here on earth because we belong here. That's what I think. Is that possible? You figure? So what if another thing too to think about, what if um, the Earth is just part of a broader area that um, we have, that we have other areas and other realms. I'm trying to get myself familiar with this huge book here, but Atlantis. Yeah, um, other land masses. That came back again. There you go. So look at this here. So here's here's Earth realm. Do these continents look familiar? Yeah. Okay, what's that? Okay, yeah. So what if this is Earth realm, but there is more land outside of where they tell us we can't go? Because there's only, you, you can only do so much on a ball. And the ball here, it keeps your mind in a prison. You're not able to think that you're an infinite being, that you can do things that are beyond your capabilities, because maybe you... Maybe some people don't believe that they can do great things. And so what education, in my opinion, does is it withholds a person's true purpose. Because then we defer to scientists, we defer to other people we've never met before, and tell us that we live there. But I'm trying to express the idea that because we're created by an infinite being, I feel like land and water go on infinitely forever too. We're finite, right? I'm going to pass away, unfortunately. I'm going to die from this place. But I feel like the land and water go on infinitely forever. What do you think? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. That's what they tell us the solar system is. And? Yeah. Have you ever seen it before like that? Many times. All so you've, time. you've gone out to outer space and seen the solar system like that? No, I've seen mm -hmm. it in just pictures. <laughs> oh, so yeah. oh, you're fine. Yeah, I've seen just pictures too. But does pictures make Godzilla real? No. No? Pictures make Santa Claus real? No. No? I, I don't know what shape the Earth is. No, well, it's kind of bad right now. The shape is kind of bad. But do you believe in aliens from outer space? Well, NASA, they said they found um, yeah, but a lot of other planets that are like Earth. Mm. What about the Earth? Mm. Yes. Yeah, you think so? Okay. So I don't think that that's true, me, okay? I think that there's other land masses that they tell us are planets, and these are just ancient civilizations. Oh my God, you have a whistle for someone going the opposite way on the bike path. Is he gonna call the police? Police department, shut down the trail. Get him, Miles. We should just shut down the trail with people. <laughs> So in my opinion, you know, out here, there's just more land. What happened there? What happened there? It's some guy, he blows a whistle when people are going the opposite way on the, because you're only allowed to go this way yeah. on the bike. So he's blowing his whistle because he's going the wrong way. And? <laughs> yeah, I know. And Policing each other, I guess. They're just trying to police. I think my friend is going over there to find out what, what well, happened. What's this and this? Yeah, so that might, you know, so um, the idea would be that maybe there's other suns or other possible lands out here that they're withholding from us. Remember the story about Christopher Columbus, mm -hmm. right? So at that time, they didn't think that this continent allegedly didn't exist. So they go sailing and then they find out and it's, oh, we discovered something new. But what if me and your friend here knew that there was this land here? And we're like, hey, Tommy, 
you want to come and um, we're going to give you some money so you can go sailing and we want you to go in this area and if you find anything then it's yours and you discovered it and then so he sails to here and he discovers America to him it's new right to him it's like oh my gosh I can't believe I discovered this but to the people that sent him there the kings and the queens they knew it was there so my opinion is that they also know about lands and such that we're not taught. Yeah. Well, once I, I've heard, I don't know if it's true, but I yeah. just heard mm -hmm. that um, that in Antarctica, there's like tall walls that you're not allowed to go past. Yeah. It's illegal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually illegal to go outside of this border because it's called the Antarctic what Treaty. Did, what did you say again? Yeah. Uh, there's walls in Antarctica, like big walls that you're not allowed to go past. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. It's, uh, have you ever seen Game of Thrones? It's on Game of Thrones, and so like this. See the ice? Mm -hmm. It's just pulling all the water in. And so people say, Earth can't be a globe, I've been around the world. Well, look, you can just do this around there, and then you just traveled around the Earth. It's still flat, it doesn't have to be a ball for you to travel around the Earth. Okay. And then so, what they do is they use high altitude planes and balloons and they scan the earth. And then what they do is they use an artist to copy and paste your clouds onto the globe earth that they tell us we live on. Why would we need to copy and paste clouds and make yeah, things... Yeah, they're the same here. Yeah, they're all the same. What are the chances that you would ever see the same cloud formations the same day? Probably not going to happen. So they they Photoshop where they tell us our Earth is, and so it just adds more ridiculousness. So what is that? Yeah, so that's the uh, perspective. What happens? It, so when you see the railroad tracks, are yeah. they becoming smaller? Yeah. They become visually smaller, right? Yeah. Because of perspective. Yeah. So the same thing with the sun. As the sun travels across our. Oh. <laughs> As the sun travels across our flat plane, it does a circuit, uh, possibly like this. And so it'll load, it'll load up here in a second. So it's like a clock. So the sun, let's even just say for hypothetical, 100 miles from the ground. It's always the same height from the ground everywhere on Earth. So above South America, it's 100, ground, 100 miles from the ground, Africa, and so on. So what's happening is the sun, as it's traveling further away from us, it just gets lower on the horizon, right? And then it disappears because of our perspective. And there's a convergence point with the sky and the ground, and then it just disappears. So it's not the Earth spinning and the sun is stationary, what this is showing is the sun and the moon are moving and the earth is stationary, built on foundations. My dad's calling us. So, yeah. what is, okay, just a minute. And what benefit we have if we, if we accept that the earth is flat? Or what is the, what is the goal? What is the purpose of this? Mm -hmm. uh, your lesson or your your story? Well, it's to help people maybe expand their mind a little bit than just depending upon government and education to teach us things. Because I'm sure, you know, you've learned a lot more from experience than your education. Yeah. Is that fair enough? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I just want to try to, you know, provoke the idea that if we can be lied to about where we plant our feet every day, why is it that then we should believe anything that the television says to us about what we should wear, how we should dress ourselves when we leave, what yeah. we should do in crowds, and so on and so on. So it's just really about that starting the spark, you know? So you got candy? You want some candy or water or anything? So, and then if you want, um, you can explore anything else if you want I have a, a YouTube channel it's called authentic intent and you oh, can are, watch are you recording yeah of course cool. and then that's my YouTubes so maybe 
maybe I can be I can be in one of your videos. Well, yeah, maybe you can just you know explore the idea, you know, check it out. You don't have to believe me. Don't believe anything I say because I'm just some guy, right? But check it out, you know. Okay. Find out find out more about where they tell us our home is, and then try to just question things, you know. Okay. okay. Thank Thanks. You. Yeah. Bye. bye. I gotta print out some more brochures too. Print out some more brochures. So I got this here. This is my meme book that I printed off from David Weiss. It's on his uh, website, uh, Flat Earth Podcast. You can find it in the uh, like materials or PDF area. And it's called the Hoax Book. So I just printed it off at, uh, you know, one of those printer places. It was about $85 to put all of the paraphernalia in the book. Oh, those are those kids that he's talking to, that we just talked to. That's who Miles is talking to right now. Yeah, with a helmet. Then we have the uh, Sun and Moon app here. This is what we have available for their viewing pleasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See if we can get back to what I was going to do. Oh yeah, I was going to go on Facepalm. Last week, I've shared a lot of videos here. Oh yeah, Dan Corrigan shared this video. First of all, hi. You're not gonna like me, but that's not me. He's got blacked out eyes. What? That's not me. No. No, 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 no. See, I want to clap her now, so I can say what the fuck I want. Yeah, vaccines cause harm. But you know what fucking causes harm more? COVID. Yeah. It's not the vaccines. Because you know what? Hundreds, million people over that are vaccinated. A hundred of those, a hundred of those have symptomatic COVID and are fine. Maybe a little bit of a cold. One died because of complications because they had debilitating disease. Now let's take your fucking side into the situation. Guess what? How many people have fucking died since January that uh, is unvaccinated? Take a fucking okay, guess. Hey, how's it going? Take a Good. fucking Ooh, guess. about the booth. Yeah, what's happening, you know, just asking questions. Would you bet your life Earth is a globe? Would I bet my life? Yes, would you bet your life that that's where you live? Interesting question. Well, would you? I don't know. Absolutely not. No, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you got going on here? Is yeah. like a general... Just information, yeah. yeah. In 1927, they were propagating the ball Earth rotate in front of people in 1927 before movies were shown and then they told us that earth is a ball and they took alleged photos of it from outer space and everything and so what they've done is propagandize on people a narrative that they can't verify themselves but because their science and scientists and all these military personnel have done something then people believe it even though they can't verify things themselves gotcha and i understand that i think like and that's not science yeah how would uh a regular pleb know yeah. what they're shaped like. 
Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. Yeah. And so what's happened over decades and decades, people have kind of reverted to, uh, I can't do anything about it. I just trust the experts. Like I can't, I, if I sit at home and I do research, I can't go outside and spend the day, you know, doing this or that or working or whatever. So I'm just going to trust the experts that they did what they need to do. And bada bing, bada boom, I believe Earth is a globe. So what we've kind of developed in society is like this, like kind of obfuscating your own personal responsibility and just believing in science and experts and stuff. And now these same entities tell people what they have to put in their body or what they have to wear when they go into a store and that. Yeah, I think I definitely agree with you, at least on that point, but like, we've definitely just like advocated all of our own responsibility and given mm -hmm. it to experts. Yeah. Like wave of technocrats all over the world now. And so like, it is almost like they have this opinion about common people, well, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. They gotta leave it, leave it to us. Right. They're too dumb to know what, how to govern themselves. They're mm -hmm. too dumb to know what's in their best interest. Mm -hmm. So I definitely know it's bad as a child. Yeah. It sucks. You know? It does, yeah. Yeah. Are you uh, for or against arresting people who are not vaccinated and forcibly quarantining them? Oh, okay, against. You're against them. Arresting. Okay, yeah. yeah okay. What do you think about, like, segregation then? Like, hey, that's your drinking fountain and that's my drinking that's fountain. That's a terrible idea. So <laughs> <laughs> no reason. <laughs> in favor of that, right? Yeah. I mean, they shouldn't. Yeah. Well, they're doing it with uh, concerts right now, aren't they? Are they really? Yeah. With, uh, I've been wondering about that. When my card will, like, my vaccination card will be needed for anything. Mm -hmm. Just, like, a, I don't think anyone's asked for it yet. Yeah. But that's this around the other concerts now. I suppose it's like the, the new variants and mm -hmm. stuff are coming out. Yeah. Okay. How do they test for the Delta variant? Do you happen to know? I don't know. I assume the same way they test the other one with the nasal swab, but. It's another thing where um, you've got like a thousand different companies making their own tests and none of them are you know, supposedly scientifically verified to be accurate. So we don't really know the efficacy of any of them. Yeah, Kerry Mullins, the guy who created the PCR test, said that it should not be used for diagnostic purposes to define what a virus is or is not. So it's fun. Yeah. Okay. Does yeah. it have any utility? Yeah, he's a he's a Nobel Prize winner. You know, he invented it, right? And yeah. then the guy that invented the mRNA vaccine also said something to the effect that it should not be used to cure any kind of ailment or virus or anything like that. And it's modified. So it's modified RNA that people are you know putting into their body, which has never been done before. They've been allegedly working on this type of technology for a couple of decades, but to actually implement it to a mass distribution as what they're doing right now, this is the first time. So in a sense, they are literally running a trial on people without it even being authorized, you know? Yeah, I mean, the FDA didn't approve these, no. these drugs. I know they kind of rushed them out there. Mm -hmm. I think the Johnson & Johnson one might have partial approval, but okay. I'm not sure. But yeah. the Johnson & Johnson is not mRNA ingredients. Yeah, I, know, I got the Pfizer one, and so I got both both of those shots. I don't mm -hmm. know how many more I'm gonna need, like mm -hmm. if they keep requiring booster shots and stuff. It's, yeah, you know whatever. Is that, million. Yeah, six million probably. Do you think that like uh, triple vaxxers are going to have a problem with those who just aren't keeping up with the situation? Is a triple vaxxer like someone who gets? Who? <laughs> you wanted to use a whistle to tell yeah, some kid he couldn't go the wrong way on the bike path. The and then he said he was friends with Anthony Fauci. <laughs> of he course. literally said that. He's friends with him? Yeah, I told that rat about Big Shot. Yeah. He said, I'm, so, I know Anthony Fauci. He's a great guy. I'm sure he is. So, a triple vaccine, would that be a person who gets more than one? Well, I mean, the booster shots okay, and right. so on and so on. So, like, I know some people are kind of reevaluating their decision on getting the first one. Yeah. And so they're like, I don't want to know. I don't know if I'm going to keep getting the next ones. So they're they're only got the one, but then a, a fully vaccinated person, triple vax or whatever you want to call it, up to date, would be able to have other privileges that you know a one person who's vaxxed. Yeah. Is that? Do you think that's a possibility? Hey, good for you. Good Choice. For you. I can see Thanks that for happen. sharing with us. We don't care. Like a triple vax person with a high yeah. social clout. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely see that happen. Yeah, like, uh, you can't come in here, if you only have one dose, you can't come to the baseball game, or yeah. the Vikings game, for example. Yeah, and I gotta say, sorry if I'm just, like, 
time. No, you're good. But though. like, I hate that like they gave us this card. Mm -hmm. And it's like not wallet sized or anything, so it looks like. Do you have shit. to fold it and everything? Yeah, it looks like shit. I don't you gotta know laminate it, it if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. you can check it out. It's, it doesn't have any like. I feel like they did this in such a poor way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I gotta carry this yeah. dirty piece of paper. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Nuka Cola, right on. I'm big follow. Yeah, follow. Yeah. Follow New Vegas, man. I got like 1,500 hours on that game. Oh, same here. It's yeah. like my favorite game of all time. Probably. Yeah, definitely. But I was thinking, like, I know the Pfizer CEO, like, dumped a bunch of stock right around the time the vaccine was coming out. Mm -hmm. And, like, I got it probably because of, like, all the pressure and stuff. But, like, mm -hmm. this is one thing that they're just rushing out to market. And, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of me doesn't feel great about the way they're doing all this. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know. I just thought it doesn't hurt to ask questions. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, and, um, you know, I don't have anything ill will against you, or I would oh, hope no, that yeah. vaxxers and non-vaxxers. Yeah. But I do feel, like, do you feel like a two-tier system coming? Or are they, they're threatening that idea, not that it's going to be able to be implemented. Do you think we're going yeah, that way? but it's like, it's going to be another cultural thing where it's like, um, are you, I mean, I'm not a, like, I don't care if you care about this at all, but I'm not like a Republican, but I de mm -hmm. definitely see like the disdain a lot of like Democrats have for Republicans. Mm -hmm. And it's going to become the same thing where it's going to be like, well, I'm educated, I'm liberal, I'm vaccinated, you, you're a, you're an idiot, you're yeah. Republican, you're mm -hmm. not vaccinated, you're yeah. not educated at all. So there's going to be this whole like real imperious thing where you're going to have a real big head on your shoulders because you got vaccinated and you're going to talk about how your friend's a Dr. Fauci and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh -huh. It's just a big, like, it's a big, kind of, like, just haughty thing people will do now yeah. to show how superior they are. Mm, but, kind of a pissing contest in a way. Of... Yeah. So, like, I don't know, I admire that you just have, like, the, <laughs> the guts to come out and do something that you're passionate about. Most people yeah, just sit yeah. online and do nothing. So mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool that you're doing this. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I just figured come out, you know, challenge and ask questions and see where people are at. I mean, I live here, you know, it'd be nice to get an idea of, you know, who's coming with me, you know, type yeah. of idea. Yeah. You know. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I don't want to take it too much. Yeah, no worries. What's your name? I'm Jack. Jack. Hey. Pleasure, man. Yeah, you too. Thanks. I'm Joshua. Joshua? Yeah. Are you with, with Joshua here? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Miles. Yeah, Miles. Is yeah. this, uh, are you guys with a group or is this just you? No, it's just me, myself, and I. I got a YouTube channel. I'm live on uh, oh, Live cool. right now, but um, I have a YouTube channel. Um, you should come by and check it out. Yeah, I will. It sounds um, cool. It's called Sebastian 52 Durden. You ever seen Fight Club? I haven't. No. Check out Fight Club. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, here's that. Uh,